Now we need to take a look at some models, so some general equations. So we're going to look at exponential growth first. So exponential growth, this equation, is y equals a times 1 plus r raised to the t. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the exponential, just so you can see the difference, the similarities, similarities and differences between them. It's y equals 1 minus r raised to the t. So notice it's just the positive and negative in the center. Now remembering from before, a growth, you know if something is growth when you have your a, b to the x, and your b is greater than 1. So that's when you know it's growth. So what I want you to notice is that in this case, this b does equal this here, right? So b equals 1 plus r. Same thing over here. So this is, remember with the decay, we know that the b value is between 0 and 1. So notice that's why we're subtracting 1 here. So again, in this case, b equals 1 minus r. I just want us to see that relationship from the basic one that we got, the basic equation. Now let's identify each of these pieces. So a is the initial amount. And we'll see some examples of what that looks like. And it's the same for both. It's the initial amount. T, since we're looking at word problems, T, we're looking at time. R, so 1 plus R. So R is going to be the percent for a growth. It's percent increase. And important to remember that it's as a decimal. Okay, so you have to represent it as a decimal. And then for decay model, it's percent decrease as a decimal. So that's really important, as a decimal. Now let's remember how do you convert things from a percent to a decimal. So we have 25%, for example, so there's two ways to do it. Number one, you can think about this as 25 over 100, um, and then you divide it using your calculator, and then what you get is 0 0.25. Another way to remember this is you just take the decimal point and move it over to the left one, two times, and that gets you the same answer. So it moves to the left two times, and so the answer is 0 0.25. Now here I'm going to put a note so you get the percent as a decimal by dividing by 100. Okay, or moving the decimal place, whatever works for you. Same thing for this one. And then sometimes we want to convert a decimal back to a percent. So when you convert a decimal back to a percent, then in that case, so if you want to change 0.25 to percent, then we multiply by 100 or move the decimal place right times, uh, right two times. So we're going to use that. Let's at example two, solving a real life problem. The value of a car, y, in thousands of dollars can be approximated by this model. y equals 25 times 0.85 raised to the t, where t is the number of years since the car was new. I want to decide um, whether this represents exponential growth or exponential decay. So looking at it, this value here, that's our b value, and we know that b is between 0 and 1. So therefore we know this is an exponential decay. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that model. So we're going to use y equals a times 1 minus r raised to the t. What we're trying to identify is the annual percent decrease in the value of the car. So we want to find the percent. We know this information here, and remember R represents, from here, R represents the percent decrease. So what we're going to do in order to solve for this is we're going to take this 1 minus R here, and we're going to set that equal to what's inside here in order to solve for R. So 0 0.85 equals 1 minus r. So then you subtract 1 from both sides, and what you end up getting is negative 0 0.15 equals negative r. And you have to have r as positive, so you divide by a negative 1. So therefore, r equals 0 0.15. Now it asks to represent it as a percent. So this is decimal, so to convert it to a percent, we multiply by 100 or move the decimal place right two times. So whichever method you use, notice the answer is 15%. So the answer is a 15% decrease um, is the annual, uh, sorry, it's the annual decrease of the car, annual percent decrease of the car. 
Now the next part is graph on decimals and determine when y is a, I'm sorry, estimate when the value of the car will be $8,000. So you're not supposed to solve for this. You're supposed to use a graphing uh, tool. And so we're gonna use Desmos. So how you do it is you go to Desmos and then you type in the equation. What you're gonna type in in your first equation is 27 times 0 0.85. And then on there, you're gonna see a button that says it's a button that looks like this, and it's A raised to the B. So if you press that button, that gets you to the exponent. And then so you put the exponent, and don't, so there's no T, just put in X. Okay, and then you're going to get your growth, and then you can kind of zoom out. The next part you want to do is to determine when the value of the car will be 8,000. So we're, this value here, we want this to be 8,000. So the quickest way to find it is that you type in in the next line, y equals 8, okay? And so you have this graph that's, uh, I'm sorry, the graph should be a decay. So decay is going like this, and you type in y equals 8, and so you're going to see them intersect. And so you'll notice when you tap on that line, um, it'll tell you the when, so when y is 8, there's a number here, this x value is what we were trying to find. It's our time. And so you'll find, if you did that, it's 7.011. So that's how you find it in Desmos, and so you'll have to practice that. Um, so you're not supposed to solve for it algebraically. Uh, we just want you to use Desmos to solve for the answer, and this is the fastest way to do that. So uh, the value of the car is 8,000 in about seven years of the seventh year. So try this one out, uh, find the value of the car. So find the percent decrease, uh, doing the same thing we did above, and then estimate when the value of the car will be $8,000. So we tried this out, you would find that um, 0.9 equals one minus R, so R is 0.1, or the de percent decrease is 10%. Then you plug it into Desmos, plug in the equation, 25 times 0.9 raised to the X, and you might the equation y equals 8, and you'll find it'll be uh, that after about 10.8 years.